Hi, Oropos of students. Welcome back to 2020-2021 school year. I'm Mr. Little John. I'm your school principal. Uh, this is my office. And uh, I just want to say, hey, we've missed you tremendously. Uh, I don't know if you really know that, but we, the teachers and myself, Ms. Jimenez, and on behalf of the staff, we wish you are, we hope and wish that you are doing well. And that even though you're not here physically at school with us, uh, you can still do things at home that will help your life be better now and in the near future and in the long-term future. And this is what it's all about is what can you do now to help you yourself become a productive person later on in life so that you can get a job, that you can live comfortably, that you can be happy. And that's what we want for you. We want you to be happy and we want you to live comfortably. And that's what school is for. And as you see my signs here, read, or how much have you been reading? Um, leading to, you see my arrow, leading to dreams uh, and making those become something of a reality for you. And so I'm gonna share my screen with you so that you can um, see and learn what we're talking about I'm going to present the behavior expectations this video is about what things can you do what do we expect of you so that you can be successful and we are home of the sea otters we want to welcome you back many of us have worked hard there's been many hands in this distance learning project for you to be able to learn from home and we want to welcome you back. Also, I want you to know that we are happy to see you, even though it's on Zoom, it's not here at school. Uh, we are happy to see you. Uh, your teachers are happy to see you. We want you online. We want to see you here at school, online learning every single day and every opportunity so that you don't miss anything. One of the important things about um, how we behave whether it's here at school, uh, whether it's on distance learning, is making sure that you're not distracting others and yourself from doing the right thing. One of those rules, as you know, is be kind. We want you to be kind to one another, to each other, to yourself, to your parents, to your family. This is very important that you're kind, using kind words, being helpful to others, uh, so that it makes you feel good when you make others feel good. Really, you've heard of treat others the way you want to be treated. Well, be kind to one another. And that's one of the most important things um, that a trait, a character trait that you can have in life. Be respectful, using kind words again, saying please and thank you, having manners, thinking about others and how what you do and how you make others feel um, and that's important having perspective um, and um, taking care of things that you're supposed to take care of that's all being part of being respectful even at home if you have a chore to do just doing it without having someone telling you to do it that is being respectful what a great surprise for families and parents when your chore is already done without the parent asking. And that's the same thing for here at school on distance learning. Are you being respectful enough and also doing the work that you're supposed to do without someone telling you you have to do it, right? That is being respectful to your family, to your teacher, and to yourself. Be a good listener. Now, I know sometimes it's hard to listen for a very long time, and some of uh, distance learning on Zoom can be a lot of talking uh, by, by teachers, by me right now, right? As a, and you're working on being a good listener. How are you listening? And sometimes, like for me, um, after about 10, 15 minutes, I have a hard time listening, staying on track. I might start to think about other things, or I might look at some things on my desk, right? And become distracted. I might wanna play with the toy. So I gotta think about what helps me be a good listener when I start to not listen. 
So let's say 10 minutes have passed and I'm not being a good listener at that point, right? Because I'm getting a little tired. What can I do to help me become a good listener again? I can you know, squeeze my fingers like this, but I'm not doing it on video. I'm doing it underneath so that nobody sees that. I can, um, I can do a little you know, back stretch like this, help me, let me do that. I can kind of wiggle my feet under my desk. You don't see it, but I'm wiggling my feet right now, okay? I might close my eyes and just count to three or leave my eyes open and take some deep breaths. to help me become a good listener, okay? And now I can get back on track. So we want you to be a good listener as well, but also understanding my own body and my own brain and when I get tired to help me get back on track again. That's important. We also want you to be a friend. No bullies here at school, no bullies online. We are a friend, we're using kind words, we're supporting one another in each other's learning. If I tell my group of friends that we're gonna meet on Zoom to work on a project, and then I'm not there, that's not being a friend, right? Okay, I wanna make sure I'm there. I wanna say, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna be there for my friend. And we also have the rule, be hands off, but right now we're not here at school. So we decided to add or revise this rule for now is to be a scholar. What is a scholar? Okay, and to think about what is a scholar in visualizing that? How can I become a scholar? How can I become a better scholar? It's someone who does their work, who completes their work, who tries to complete the work, even if it's hard. I persevere. I'm on time. I am at the Zoom meetings. I'm completing my work in Canvas. I'm studying. And that is what a scholar is, okay? So how can you visualize yourself to become more of a scholar or a better scholar to help you have the self-discipline and you can manage yourself so that you're not missing assignments, you didn't forget things. And if I did forget things, that's okay. As long as I don't do it again, what can I learn from my mistake so that I can do it better the next time? And that's what being a scholar is all about. Learning from my mistakes, making the mistakes, but trying hard so that I don't make those same mistakes again. And I learn from that mistake so that I can become a better scholar. I'm gonna go back to friends because we do not allow bullying and you already know that. But just because you're not here at school doesn't mean that you should be bullying others too. There are some ways that people bully, right? Bullying is when you keep picking on someone because you think you're cooler, smarter, stronger, or better than them. But we all know the truth that bullies are weaker. They're not cooler. They're not better than them. They're trying to make others feel bad to help them feel better. And so we know when we encounter a bully, you should know that it's not about you. It's about the bully because they're trying to make themselves feel better. There's something going on inside the bully. And so if you are picking on others to help yourself feel better uh, so that you can laugh by picking on somebody and making others feel bad, that's being a bully, and that is not okay. It's not acceptable. Uh, and we want to laugh with each other together in a good way, not making fun of others, because that makes someone feel bad, and they will not forget that. And they will not forget you if you're a bully. So remember that. There's also something called cyberbullying, where people do it online, they do it through text, they do it, do it by sending pictures, uh, they do it by using internet, social media, and other technologies to make fun of others. Uh, and all of that is not okay. Cyberbullying, you can be punished for. 
you can receive consequences for cyberbullying. So making sure that you're not doing that because if we hear about that here at school, you can become uh, a student that gets consequences uh, even through distance learning. Uh, and uh, so, and your parents will find out about that. So making sure that you do not do that. Once you send something in text, once you do something and post something in media, it can never go away. It'll always be there, okay? So make sure that you don't do that. When you do see something, say something. See something, say something. Stop hate. Speak up, stand up, and stop the hate. As you know, equality and equity is important. Okay, there has been protesting going on and we must stand together. We must speak up if we see bullying. And I kept saying we because we are in this together. I want you to really think about not just yourself now. I want you to think of we as a school or a peasant elementary. And I know that might be a little weird or hard to understand if you're at home, but we is important. We are gonna do this together. Right now, you and your family are doing this together. We're getting through COVID. You are getting through COVID as a family at home, right? But we as a school, together, in Zoom and in distance learning, we're doing this together. We're all gonna support one another. We're all part of the Otter family. You are part of the Otter family. We're gonna learn and grow together because I want you to always remember this. We are family together okay so you don't have to feel alone through all of this we are here for you and i know you look forward to your zoom sessions with your teacher to see your friends and your teacher and learn as much as you can i want you to learn and i want you to grow together so thank you so much for seeing this video i hope this has helped you think about how we should all behave how you should complete your work how you should be respectful and be kind. Remember also to yourself, be kind to yourself, take care of yourself so that you can take care of others as well. And that's an important part of life and understanding that. But I wanted to wish you luck on being a great scholar. I'll be visiting your Zoom class sessions throughout distance learning. And I uh, hope to see you on Zoom. Thank you so much, everybody. Everyone have a great day. Remember always to work hard, learn, and get smarter every day.